Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's MarkerGeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video. Well, in the previous video, you saw me use the DS Cosmetic Flat Top Synthetic Brush with the Galaxy Handle. The handle comes in a variety of colors. It's flat top. It was wonderful for face lathering. It has a nice moderate backbone. Really splays out nicely and it gave great coverage. Very soft. Just a terrific brush to use for face lathering. I really enjoyed using it. They also sent along a tuxedo knot brush. They tell me this is a 30 millimeter knot with a beautiful yellow resin handle. Very, very well made. Very soft. It has a little more backbone than the flat top brush for sure. But that tuxedo knot, that doming effect, really gives it some nice lathering action. Um, when I compare it to my Yaki 30 millimeter knot, uh, you can see it's right there in the ballpark but I'm not entirely sure if they sent me a 30 or a 26. I don't have any measuring devices to double check that. However, I'm going to link both of them below, both the 30 millimeter knot and the 26 millimeter knot because they are both wonderfully moderately priced. So uh, you'll definitely want to check that out on AliExpress because this has been a terrific brush. I've been using it for the last couple of weeks um, in my brush rotation. And it really does a great job in building lather. It's super soft. And again, it has some really nice backbone to it. Has some great flow through. So you can scrape off that lather off the uh, edge of a, of a mug and then return it to your face. Really, really very, very nice. So I'm looking forward to uh, having a shave with this this morning. We're going to be using Colonel Conk's Bay Rum Shaving Soap. Glycerin based shaving soap. I have some, and I put a, a puck here, melted a puck in a little coffee mug here. You can see I have plenty there for my shave. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get some hot, hot, hot water. And I'm going to set some hot water in here. And I'm going to let that soften up a little bit. And that brought the sink temperature up just a little bit. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to let that soak. Give that a good soaking. And we're going to talk about... What else we're going to be using in the shave this morning? I'm going to be using my Shaveology three-piece razor. This is an absolutely beautiful razor and wonderfully priced. Now take a close look at this. Here is my Baxter of California razor. This is a rebranded Mule R89, or so I'm told. Look at how similar they are. Look at that. And I'm telling you, the shaves are so closely similar. Amazing. And of course, this one uh, is a fraction of the cost of what a Mule or a Baxter of California are. Both great razors, but boy, this is really priced really, really well. And if you, um, if you buy a razor from Shaveology, and I'll have links below to both their website and their Amazon page, they make a donation to Soldiers Angels, which supports our troops and their families and our veterans. So a really good cause to buy this razor now. They have a chrome handle three-piece razor, which this one is right here, okay? And they also have a black handle three-piece razor, and they also have a butterfly razor. I haven't used the butterfly razor. I've only used this three-piece razor here. It's a great razor, I like it a lot. Full disclosure, <clears throat> they sent me two razors, one to review, this was a while ago, one to review, and one for my nephew who was stationed in Iraq at the time. And I sent that on to him, and he absolutely loves the razor. So, uh, a really good cause. And I also turned around, and I made the donation for the value of the razors to Soldiers Angels. Uh, you know, uh, it was only right. So, um, that's what we're going to use to shave. We're also going to be using a Treat Platinum Blade. Uh, I got these from Connaught Shaving over in England. Uh, a fellow wet shaver turned me on to these. These are a really nice smooth blade and they are affordably priced. Now, I bought these from Connaught because the exchange rate from American dollar to the British pound was in my favor and I got a whole bunch of them at a really, really good price. I'll link Connaught below as well as Amazon Treat. Really a surprisingly great razor blade to use. We're going to kick it all off with Vikings Blade uh, Gentle Mint uh, Pre-Shave Oil, a little bit of that. And the reason why I'm using the Colonel Conk's Bay Rum Shaving Soap is because I am in love now with the Pinault Clubman Virgin Isle Bay Rum 
aftershave. Boy, this stuff has really grown on me. Really, really terrific scent. Warm, nice spice feel uh, for the aftershave. A good skin bracing effect. Uh, really like it a lot. Um, it doesn't burn, it kind of warms up the skin. So when guys refer to a burn, they're actually talking about the actual warming of the skin, which is really a different kind of sensation from all my other aftershaves. So this I bought at a local drugstore, Discount Drug Mart in Northeast Ohio, and it was $7.99 for a 12 fluid ounce bottle. Now on Amazon, it's a little more expensive. I'll link to the Amazon product, but know that you might be able to find this locally, a 12 fluid ounce bottle for a little bit less. And also for upstairs, we're gonna be using uh, Nivea Sensitive uh, Aftershave Balm. So that's it, we're all set. Uh, my brush is soaking, my soap is soaking. I'm gonna let it soak a little more, uh, the equivalent of taking a shower, and I'm gonna be right back to start to shave. Okay, so that's been soaking for a good time, the equivalent of taking a shower. So let's wet the face and let's get the shave going. dumped the water out. I got a little residual water left in the bowl and I gave the brush a slight ring but I've retained most of the water in there so we're going to go ahead and start building a lather here and this is very close to using the Marco method. I am going to be really loading this brush for a good minute because with glycerin based soaps they like a lot of water. That's been my experience. They like a lot of water and you have to get past that stage of it being rather foamy and bubbly when it starts to work into a nice yogurt-like, meringue-like consistency. So you really do have to give it some agitation, give a little bit of brush action, load the brush really, really well, and you'll get a really nice lather. But it needs a lot of water, and it needs, it needs a lot more agitation, as I say, than say a regular tallow soap, like a, a Tabak or a Mitchell's wool fat. And we're gonna be coming up on a minute here pretty soon, and you can see we're almost ready to go. Got a great bay rum scent, really nice. That's been a minute, and you can see, you can see right here that I'm, I'm ready to go just about, look at that. Look at that, nice peaks and everything. That's all you gotta do, just put some, get some water in there and just really work it in and just you know, give it a little more water than what a regular towel-based soap uh, would require. That's been my experience. Okay, let's paint this on. And it's painting on very nicely. You can see, look at all that lather I got. Wow, and this brush holds a lot. Brush did a great job. A generous size knot that really generated a lot of lather. Look at that. I mean, and I got plenty there. And again, the flow through is really nice. I can just scrape it off like this and pick it up and then paint it back on if I want to. So I haven't done any face lathering at all. I just did all my lathering in the bowl right from the soap and the brush retained quite a bit. Now it can be a little bit sloppy to start with, but just keep at it and it goes from a very liquid to a, goes from a, a semi-liquid state uh, to a foamy state to this nice lather. Those are kind of the stages. All right, that's it. Let me rinse my hands a little bit. All right. Got my razor and blade all loaded up. Let's get some hot water on there. Yeah. 
No swirl to bring in the temperature. Swirl in the sink. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That is a really smooth pass. The razor and the blade together are really, really nice. You have to try this treat blade. Really nice, smooth blade. I really do favor the platinum coated blades. Platinum coated like the Astra, the Treat, Pole Silver, Vikings Blade, uh, Derby, Derby Premium. Dorco Prime, very, very nice platinum coated blades. Really nice. Nice, smooth shave this morning. Really nice. Wow. And the Colonel Conks Bay Rum has a beautiful Bay Rum scent. It doesn't overwhelm, but it's just enough. It really does. You can really, really get that scent as you're working up a lather. It really is nice. Really, just terrific. Really, really nice. Hold it here. Knock that down, that's great. First pass done, let's rinse. Really, really nice, nice first pass. Um, it's on par with every other first pass. The razor is on the mild side, which is very nice, but it's very, very efficient. We're gonna go ahead and do a second pass here. And I have the additional water on my face, which is going to help this Colonel Conks Bay Rum. Uh, spread even more on my face and I might do a little bit of face lathering just to kind of get it out of the brush a little bit and this brush is doing a great job really nice and soft paints on really really well really very nice I have more than enough for three passes although I think for this shape I'm probably only gonna need two really the second pass will probably tell the tale now, a lot of guys in the lathering here and painting the lather on, a lot of guys will hold the, the, the brush up here towards the knot and get a little more control, especially with natural brushes, like a badger brush, like this. And that way they can kind of control it a little more. Now, I'm more of a guy who holds it on the handle and I have my one finger up here a little bit like that. Sometimes I'll just bring it back to the handle. Um, it's entirely up to you. I like using it mostly on the handle. I don't really use it up towards the, the bristles. I don't grasp it up towards the bristles like a lot of guys. You might want to experiment and see how it works for you. I mean, to each his own. But again, here, let me show you. I'm able just to scrape off a lot of lather that's in the brush and then scoop it right like that. And just, I have more than enough. And again, that Bay Rum scent is wonderful. <laughs> it's just a terrific, terrific scent. Beautiful, beautiful. It's, it's a warm, spicy, aromatic. Uh, boy, it's just got a little bit of cinnamon in there. It's terrific, it really, really is. All right, here's our second pass. We're gonna go east to west across the grade.
All right, second pass done, let's rinse. All right, very, very nice. I'm good for the office. I'm good for the office right now, but you know what? I will need a third pass here. I got a little blemish right here, almost tagged open. Looks like it's gonna be okay though. Didn't notice it there, but we'll have to be careful with that. Don't know where that came from. So we're gonna just, I'm going to go, because glycerin soap likes a lot of water, I'm gonna go ahead and just dip a little bit. Tips, I'm gonna dip the tips into the sink here and then just use a little more here and just get a little more soap on there. And now I'm gonna do a little more face lathering here. There we go, and paint it on, because glycerin soap wants water. So you might find yourself having to add water to it, but this brush is doing an absolutely wonderful, wonderful job. And look how much lather I have again. Really, really nice. And I'm down to my last little bit of bay rum here. Bay rum soap, you can see, <laughs> I'm about out. And look how much lather I got just from that little bit that was there. So I have plenty, and I still have plenty more for, gee whiz, a lot more shades because it goes a long, long way. It really does. Okay. All right. We're going to go ahead and do my third pass here. We're going to go south to north against the grain. Very light pass. Wow, that was a nice, quick third pass. Really, really nice. Let's rinse. All right. Wow, that was nice. <laughs> very, very nice. I'm going to drain my sink, and I'm going to do my two final rinses here. The fact that I didn't tag this thing open here, whatever this is, a little blemish of some kind. The fact that I didn't tag that open during my shave really speaks to the mild quality of the razor and also the smoothness of this treat blade. So you don't see any blood there. A little bit of redness, though, from from going over it, but um, uh, didn't open up, didn't cut, which didn't nick. Really, really nice. And there was a little, just a, something of blemish there. It's just a little higher than my skin there. So um, that's why I caught a little bit. But again, skipped over it, didn't open it up. Terrific. Okay, here's my warm water rinse. Okay, there's a lot of slickness there with that Colonel Kong's Bay rum. I think even a little more than their lime soap. Um, which is really nice. Gave me a lot of nice protection. And again, I think the blade, the razor, and the soap really helped me avoid a mishap here. But I'm going to have to keep an eye on that down the road. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do my cold water rinse right now. Really, really nice. Wow. Got a, boy, that's refreshing. Got a clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Boy, that's nice. Forgot to mention early on, I'm going to be using my Osma Alum Block. This will tell the tale as to uh, whether I got a nice mild shave or something a little more aggressive. I got a nice mild shave, almost certain of it. And we're just going to run that under cold water and just run that over the face. Very nice. I mean, no stinging at all. Maybe, maybe a little teeny zing. Not even, nothing really, nothing really to register to write home for. 
I'm going to go ahead and pat that dry and then set it in my little handy dandy alum block dish <laughs> that I got for what 25 cents at a, at a uh, second hand store. There we go like that. Let it air dry and I'll be ready for tomorrow morning's uh, shave. I'm going to do a little cleanup and I'll be right back to finish this off and tell you a little bit more about this uh, terrific shaving brush. So hang in there with me. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm letting the alum set up on my face. And while I'm doing that, I'm just cleaning my brush and mopping up a little bit around here. Uh, some wet shavers like to rinse off the alum after about 30 seconds. Others, like me, like to keep it on. Depends on how your skin responds. If your skin starts to dry out a little too much, then you probably want to rinse off the alum. Um, I leave it on. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's great. It feels great. And it does its job of uh, knocking down any irritation or microabrasions, that sort of thing. Healing up maybe some small nicks. It really does have some great antiseptic qualities. Okay, now the one thing of great about this brush is been, look how nicely that cleans up. Give it a good rinsing in, in warm to cold water, somewhere in between there. Uh, not hot water, uh, warm water, warmer to cold water right in there. And uh, all you have to do is just give it a gentle wringing uh, with your towel, gentle wringing like that. Give it some few vigorous shakes. Might take, say, two rinses to do this but it's nearly dry. These brushes, these synthetic brushes have come so far. The technology has improved so much uh, and uh, look, it's nearly dry. So it's been, it's been, this brush has been great. It's, the, the handle has worked out very, very well. It feels nice in the hand. Uh, I can grasp it on the handle. I can grasp it up here towards the knot, as I was explaining. Um, has a nice size, nice weight. Um, and, you know, it will not fit on my Vikings Blade razor stand. Won't fit here, won't fit here. So I tend to think that it's probably not a 26 millimeter knot, that it probably is the 30 millimeter knot. Um, but it really did a great, great job. It gave me a lot of coverage. You saw how it generated lather. Did a really, really terrific job. Let's finish the shave off with the Virgin Island Bay Rum. This stuff is Wonderful. Love it a lot. Okay. Get a really nice, it's a, it's, it's kind of a, it's a, it's a warming, cooling sensation. It, I mean, it really is. I mean, the liquid is cool, but when it hits your face, it warms it up a little bit. It's got that it's got that great bay rum in it, a little bit of clove, some other kinds of spices, some cinnamon. Really nice. It doesn't overwhelm. And I have found that um, after I've had my shave in the morning, if I'm at the office, say five, six hours later, I'll get a little hint of it again. It, it's really neat. It kind of stays with you, but it doesn't project out there to where it's going to uh, you know, hit somebody over the head, so to speak. It really it stays with you, and every once in a while, you get that nice hint of bay rum during the day. Really like it a lot. Um, I'll have links for this. Virgin Island Bay Rum. Really nice. Uh, it's always consistently in the top five bay rums. When you go online and you just Google top five bay rums, this, Virgin, this, this Clubman Virgin Island Bay Rum is always up there with the, the best bay rums. It really is. Okay, a little bit upstairs. Yeah. Very nice. Got to moisturize the dome here because of the, the weather and that sort of thing. Great shave. Just a terrific, terrific shave. Uh, really a great blade. Uh, a really, really nice razor. Boy, get yourself one of these Shaveology razors. These are really, really terrific. Um, and they're really affordably priced. I really like this. And I'm telling you, it's almost like a Mule R89. Why get that when you can get this? It really is a terrific, terrific razor. Um, the treat blade, 
beautifully smooth. Uh, I, I really like the platinum coated blades, but the treat blade, really, uh, thanks to the wet shaver out there who tipped me off to those. Can't remember your name, I'm so sorry, but wow, you were right. It's a terrific blade, it really is. Um, Colonel Cox Bay Rum soap, soap, glycerin soap, yeah, get some. It's really terrific, and with the Clubman uh, Virgin Isle Bay Rum aftershave, yeah, yeah, it's really, really nice. But the star of the show is the DS Cosmetic uh, 30 millimeter knot shave brush. Uh, with the beautiful yellow handle and it says uh, DS Cosmetic right here on the bottom. You can see that. Uh, beautiful synthetic brush, beautiful tuxedo knot, nice softness, generates a lot of lather. Now, you know if you've been wet shaving and you try glycerin soap right from the get-go, you know that glycerin soap can be a little more of a challenge to build a ladder and look how this brush just handled it. Yes, you have to soak it, but it retains that water. You have to have a little more water for glycerin soap, so you have to soak the brush. But the great thing about these synthetic brushes, and this one in particular, is it retains a lot of water so that when you go to build that ladder, you got a lot of water there to, to work with. And inside of a minute, it's gonna take a minute with a glycerin soap. You got a lot of lather and you get a lot of nice protection. And uh, really, uh, uh, if, you're, if you're not careful and you don't work that glycerin soap up to a, a nice lather, you're not going to get anything on your face, obviously. It's going to be kind of runny and everything like that. But if you get a brush like this and you uh, soak it in water and let it retain that water and really work that glycerin soap for a good minute, you get that nice meringue yogurt consistency, and all you have to do is paint it on. And you can see how it flows nicely through the brush, how I was able just to just pull that off on the rim of the cup and the mug and just paint it back onto my face. Really amazing. Uh, really a nice, nice brush to have in your collection. And it is very affordably priced. So I'll have links both to the 30 millimeter and the 26 millimeter knot because again, um, I'm kind of confused as to which one this is, but regardless, it's a great brush. It really is. It really is a terrific, terrific brush. So uh, check it out, I'll have links below. Hey, that's it. Thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I had a great shave. I hope you learned something. Um, really enjoy doing these videos for you and thank you for all your comments. I really, really do appreciate it. So please share, please subscribe. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Do you have one of these DS Cosmetic brushes? Are you gonna get one? What's your favorite synthetic brush out there? Because I love the synthetic brushes. Um, check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George. Other cartoons, other videos like this, and I'll see you again real soon.